Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and today you will see that I am in my shop and I'm here to share with you loads of the new fabrics that we have had in recently. And since I last did one of these videos, which I think was like the end of February, beginning of March, we have had so many amazing new fabrics in, so much so that I've actually decided to split this little edition of new fabrics into two parts. So this is part one and in this one I'm going to be showing you all of the new woven fabrics that we have had in and then in part two I'm going to be showing you all of the stretchy jersey sweatshirty fabrics that we've had so if you've got a particular preference for one kind of fabric over the other then you might want to just zone in to one video or if you want to watch two amazing then you can do that too. There's also a separate blog post that will be linked to each video. So I will put that in the description of the videos and then in there you will find links to all of the fabrics that I mention. But of course you can not always just look at the just arrived section of our website, which is where all of the new fabrics are always put in as they sort of arrive. And I've, I mean, I, can, I almost can't keep up with it. There's like new ones that I've not even got time to sort of put into this video. So it is the best place to look if you want to see things that are new because there's yeah there's just loads that seems like the time of year there's loads so the first ones that I'm going to show you are some new prints that we've got to add to our classic um, Liberty Tan Alon collection um, so these are just that beautiful classic Liberty Tanalon base. So soft and beautiful, perfect for shirts and blouses or summer dresses if you're starting to think of that. This is the Wiltshire print. Um, so usually what they do is they bring out the classic prints but they'll just recolour them. This is the Mitzi print which we've had before and it's been really popular but now it's in this beautiful kind of rich sort of bluey turquoisey one with little red flowers. Beautiful. And then this one here, I can't remember what it's called Phoebe it is I've got this bit in, in a blouse but in another colorway this one's a lovely sort of purpley and um, warm purpley pinky kind of color so some beautiful classic prints there and they are all on the Tanalon base and then while I'm on the topic of Liberty we've got some very beautiful they're on the row behind me these are Augusta linens so we've got four different prints in this fabric and let me check the percentages it's 55% linen and 45% cotton but it feels quite thin like if you think about how linen normally feels is quite sort of structured and quite quite thick and kind of sturdy that you can see that this is much more drapey and fluid it sort of moves around a lot more it's really soft and beautiful and of course the prints and the color saturation is just amazing so again these are going to be good for tops and blouses and dresses shirt or shirt dresses and um, it's really lovely so yeah that is the that is the Augusta linen new for new for spring and they're all yeah I'm pretty sure they're all classic prints this one is Emma and Georgina um, and then we've also got Betsy and then that is the Mitzi again and then the, the Capel and the navy blue so yeah some beautiful classic options there but on a different base cloth so that's quite nice and then the next ones that I've got to show you I'm going to try and sort of keep similar fabrics together just for a bit of consistency I'm going to show you these Dobby cottons here. I'm pretty sure they're, yeah, they're 100% cotton. And if you've seen Dobby fabric before, you'll know it's got that sort of texture woven into it that just, you know, it just sort of gives a little bit of definition to the fabric. But the difference with these ones is the little Dobby spot is multicolored. So we've got one on a blue base and then it's got um, like little, or I think it's like orange, yellow and kind of bluey colors in it and the, the little dobby spots are sort of fluffy and textured so that's the blue base and then we've also got it on a kind of lovely sort of corally pinky color as well really lovely and summery and bright again tops blouses dresses that sort of thing is going to be perfect for that kind of fabric and it's going to press and be easy to work with because it's 100 percent cotton and then staying on the sort of cotton vibe the more kind of lighter weight ones we've got these two embroidered ones this one has got lovely cranes on it they're they're so detailed they're really nice and that's on like a pinstriped base and then we have also got this one that's on a kind of ready base and it's lots of little rosebuds really beautiful so these are these are more like a light to medium weight 
so again tops blouses dresses that kind of thing um, and they're just really lovely and summery really nice they've been so popular but we do still have some left if you fancy it and they, they are ones that we should be able to get again as well and um, if you ever see a fabric online that is saying out of stock it's always worth just emailing us to see if we're getting it back we you know if things are popular obviously we generally t try to get them back and then it means that we can let you know as soon as it's in because some stuff does just really come and go quite quickly um okay so that was all the kind of more lighter weight cotton bases that i was going to show you and then i've also got this fabric here which is in three different colorways now we did have this fab it's a linen and viscose base and we did have this last summer as well it was had little sailboats on it we had a spotty version too it's a really lovely cloth to work with I made a closet case patterns cali shirt and the one that had little boats on it and it's really nice it drapes beautifully but it's got a lovely sort of natural texture to it so this print has got we've called it pyramids but it's kind of like little triangles and um, you can see the drape on it it's really 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 beautiful and um, so it comes in this sort of light pinky color and then also in the the off-white which has got quite a natural texture to it when you look at the kind of weave of the fabric you can see that it's got other sort of natural tones and colors woven into it as well and then we've got it in a kind of like minty kind of minty greeny blue color sort of cool color too and um, so yeah they are I really like those ones it's a, it is a really lovely cloth for little tops and blouses and stuff and um, then the next ones that I'm going to show you before I get on to the sort of much heavier weight fabrics there's just this really little cute range of their quilting cottons they're like medium weight cottons and um, they're Winnie the Pooh ones so they're on that kind of classic medium weight base but the prints are just really really sweet and um, quite a few of them are also multi-directional as well which is quite good like if you're making bunting or something and um, and yeah I just love the details in this very very nostalgic who doesn't love a bit of Winnie the Pooh and um, so that is yeah that's just like a little sort of fun novelty little print and then so that I can kind of keep certain fabrics together the next ones that I'm going to show you something a little bit different and those of you that have seen the Tilly and the Buttons Eden pattern come out recently then you will know that um, rain proof and shower proof fabrics have become really popular and we've got two sort of slightly more unusual ones so this is them here and um, both prints so this is like a flamingo print and then this one's just a sort of like random kind of spotty one which is really nice and they're see-through if I open it up you'll be able to you'll be able to see through it so when you work with this kind of fabric it looks really cool if you basically bind everything it's obviously a bit of extra work but it, it does look really cool we saw some pictures when we were buying this fabric of garments that were made up and um, and it, di it did look really really cool so let me just check what it's actually made of it's obviously a synthetic fiber and you know these things get called water resistant or sort of shower proof as opposed to like waterproof which is quite an extreme way to describe things but water totally just runs off when you splash it on so it's 100 percent polyurethane and it's also meant to be breathable as well i'm not entirely sure how but that's what the fabric supplier told us anyway and <laughs> um, but yeah they're just really cool so if you're looking for like really funky way to make a raincoat then this is it they're 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 awesome i think they're really good fun and um, they would also be good for like making makeup bags and that kind of stuff too like a little wash bag and then staying on the kind of shower resistant vein the other fabric that we've got in are these soft shell fabrics and they are po they are polyester as well but they're kind of like two layers of fabric together um, so the outside just looks like a kind of you know like a flat sort of smooth fabric and then in the inside you can see it's it looks a bit like sports where it's sort of um, perforated and that's what makes it breathable so we've got this in a kind of mustardy color a lovely bright magenta color and then classic navy as well so again these are going to be good for um the tilly and the buttons eden or the closet case patterns kelly anorak or the new um Pauline Alice one which is called I've got it here actually I was going to show you it later and um, Sarah the new Pauline Alice one so yeah good for there's lots of patterns now for raincoats which is fun so yeah I've got three colors of them and then now on to the kind of sort of thicker heavier ones and then I'm going to show you the denims at the end which I'm very excited about and um, we've 
added three new colours to our Robert Kaufman cord collection. So this is 100% cotton, non-stretch cord. It's perfect for little skirts or dungaree dresses um, or wide leg trousers, that kind of thing. They're really popular right now. So we've got a russet colour, a rust and a grey. And they're just really nice. They're amazing quality, of course, because they're Robert Kaufman. Um, and yeah, just adding to our collection of those really popular fabrics. And then we have also got, in the sort of 100% cotton non-stretch department, we have got a range of these new drills, which are a, a fairly weighty, they're quite strong. Um, and we've got them in some really nice colors. This is the sort of mustardy yellow one here. I've also got a magenta and a navy and a kind of muted sort of grey colour. I can't remember all the other ones, but I took a little video up close so I can show you them anyway. Um, but they are going to be really good, again, for skirts or wide leg trousers or clots, that kind of something that's, that needs a little bit of structure. And they've got this lovely, really defined kind of diagonal texture on them, which is really nice too. They're just really lovely, nice, weighty fabric, and it's nice that they're 100% cotton. They're going to um, feel really nice and press well and that sort of thing. Um, then, now, in the denim department, I've been really excited about these ones so much so that I am I'm wearing my new Dawn jeans. Um, we have got a selection of four colours of rigid denim, which is perfect for non-stretch trousers. So the Closet Case Patterns Morgan or the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans or even, even like the Landers, the True Bias Landers, those popular ones. Um, and they're just really, really nice. They've, again, they've got that really defined sort of diagonal um, twill weave on them and just gorgeous. So, we've, so yeah, four colours, like a, a dark denim, mid denim and a light denim and then a light grey as well. So they're all really nice. And then also, just for a bit of fun, we have got a glitter version of that as well. So you can see that there is just this lovely sparkle that just catches the light really nicely throughout that fabric. So yeah, it's the rigid denim as well. So it's a nice, nice weighty, non-stretch, chunky one. And then we have also had some new stretch denims in too and some fun colours as well. We have had this fabric before, but we've just got some new colourways. So this one's like quite a sort of light pink pinky kind of lilac-y colour so it's nice for some like more sort of spring summery jeans because it is a bit thinner and um, it's got a nice bit of stretch in it too so we've got that kind of yeah lighty pink sort of lilac-y colour and then we've also got the bright pink as well which is really fun and then like some classic blue colours so yeah they're good for stretch patterns so like the ginger jeans and um, or the Megan Nielsen one the ash that's their stretch jean pattern so some nice options there as well. And then in terms of sewing patterns, we have had some new um, sewing patterns that are for woven fabric. So I thought I'd show you them in this video. So as I mentioned before, we've got the Pauline Alice Sarah jacket, which has got lot, quite a few different options. Um, it's an unstructured unisex jacket with raglan sleeves and it's fully lined as well. So there's either a raincoat with a storm shield, a blouson jacket fixed with a hood and adjustable drawstring or a trench coat with a storm shield and a gun flap wow and um, so lots of options in that pattern and then we've got the jazika closet case patterns jazika which i'm sure you've seen all over instagram which are really popular right now i'm looking forward to seeing versions of that we've got the two new nina lee ones i love this one the camden pinafer I really, I really love both the skirt and the the dress. That the skirt would be really nice in those Robert Kaufman cords that I showed you. Um, another blazer, the Nina Lee Richmond one, and then at, also as I mentioned before, the Tilly and the Buttons Eden, which I'm sure you've seen all over Instagram too. It's very fun. I just have to. I have to sort of work on justifying jackets. You guys all know that I'm obsessed with coats and jackets and have quite a lot. Um, and as it comes into spring, kind of need to try and make other things a bit more seasonally appropriate. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the new woven fabrics. Remember, there is part two of this new fabric instalment and it's going to be all about stretching jersey fabrics. So if you love those fabrics too, then you can just watch the next video. I'll put a little link up so it's quite easy to find. If you've got any questions about any of the fabrics, always just ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Remember, the blog post is in the description and that links to all of the fabrics below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!